What's going on, y'all? Back with another reaction video today. We got D'Angelo Malone. Watch football has him ranked as the 14th outside linebacker slash the the defensive end. Well, three, four outside linebackers. So, pretty much the, uh, some of these are defensive ends. Pretty much uh, out of Western Kentucky, 6'32", 34. Uh, projected time is a four six five, but we're gonna see his real time in a second. Y'all just give me a second. Uh, overview says Malone was a dangerous quarterback hunter over the past three seasons for the Hilltoppers, along with getting after the quarterback. Malone was a solid pursuit run defender, providing a lot of tackles for his defense. In the NFL, he could be too undersized to play defensive end, might be better as a 3-4 outside linebacker. All right, next season says he collected 94 tackles, 9 sacks, 4 passes defended, 4 forced fumbles in 21. This is a good, good season. Had a decent week of practice at the uh, Senior Bowl. All right. No 40 time. Y'all let me know what he actually ran uh, at his pro day, whatever. Round 3, pick 18 by the Falcons. Falcons got them, uh, who else was that? That, uh, linebacker, Trey Anderson. Man, that's gonna be a good pick. I look up, I'm looking forward to see him play. Um, but, uh, 6'3", 243, uh, 23 rips on the bench. Uh, rounds 3-4 to four projection. NFL comparison, Michael Bowley. Don't know who he is, y'all let me know. Um, uh, super, says, super senior who decided to come back for another season to put more film more on film for general managers to think about his weary build belies his toughness and play strength at the point of attack he uses quick feet a flexible frame and unusually successful recovery balance to slink into playmaking positions in the run game his rushes are orthodox and unpredictable but his burst to close and fluidity inside to close and fluidity inside the pocket are valuable in finishing against mobile quarterbacks his slender frame will get knocked and he needs to craft a more repeatable rush but he is competitive and savvy malone could challenge a future for a future starting job as a 3-4 outside linebacker and offers immediate special teams value all right strengths plays bigger and tougher than listed size plays with unwavering physicality through contact big active hand slap away handsy blockers tackles the ball carrier looking to pry the football free thoughtful approach as a rusher Alter speed and angles in his upfield attack. Bendy and flexible to dip and flatten the edge. Sudden choppy feet for successful inside counters. Agility and directional change to reel in scramblers. Impressive recovery balance when jostled off his base. Range and talent for consideration as a 4-3 linebacker. Okay, so. Uh, mm, okay, let's see, let's see. Weaknesses. Potential liability facing downhill rush attacks and pros needs more consistent contain approach and run game loses pursuit leverage and overruns tackles tackle strength could become an impediment narrow base to power through a stiff punch rush these to be more efficient and consistent can't displace pass protection with power so he's a okay 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 let's see let's see let's see a shout out to simply simply s10 for the video let's check him out See what the Falcons did. Hold on. Hold on. The the safety on the other side had blew up the lineman right here. This was nice too. I'm 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 watching, but I'm like, dang. Good tackle on the on the QB, but man. Safety right the DB right here. Oh, okay. Now they ran into each other. The lineman fell too. I'm about to say he put the lineman on his butt, but from that angle, yeah, it was a totally different story. Uh, he got some power, but definitely has a, a solid speed rush. Good rip. Mm, oh my gosh. Good hit. Good hustle. Hmm. Good hit. Good 
All right, man. Well, we'll wrap it up here. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Fit projection. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed.